Go. Does your nice, clean Mosin Nagant have a sticky bolt? You've got rid of all the cosmoline, but you've been out to the range, and you have a tough time opening the bolt once you fired a cartridge. There's at least two things people discuss as part of this problem. One is that maybe you've still got some cosmoline left somehow in your chamber. Another is that maybe your head spacing isn't correct. But I've got a really quick test for you because it might be your bolt. As long as the firing pin is cocked, you're just settling the bolt. You might find it's easy to move back and forth. But once you've fired a cartridge, and here I'm just going to hold the pin back and let it forward with the trigger, once you've fired a cartridge, perhaps it's much harder to get that bolt open again. Let's just do that check again. Hold the pin, pull the trigger, ease it forward, and then check. There's no round in the chamber. Is it much harder to open now? If it is, it may be because of the very heavy spring that's inside the Mosin Nagant bolt. This spring has to be worked against to have the firing pin pulled back and the bolt cocked. You work against it here on this ramp at the back of the bolt. So if I decock the bolt, you'll see there's two ramps on the bolt sliding back and forth. When you try and open the bolt after you fired a cartridge, you have to work that spring back up against that ramp. And then, that little click at the end, there's a little nub right there that has to fit into a little recession. If the nub or the recession are not round, they might not snap together. So if you're having trouble opening your bolt, even though there's no cartridge in the chamber using this test, then you need to pay attention to polishing and lubricating this part of the rifle, part of the bolt, and checking whether or not that tiny nub is in fact round and smooth. That's it.